welcome to, to the Why Not, not. where well, we believe that if others can, you also can. How the press kings are you doing? This is your chosen once again, and I'm so happy to be talking to you. Welcome to the Why Not, where well, we believe that if others can, you also can. I told you that I'll be bringing you great entrepreneurs in different fields and today I'm glad to have hosted a professional therapist. She's going to be talking to you and telling you about herself. Please join me. Welcome Mama Cassandra. You're most welcome. Thank you, my dear. How are you doing? I am wonderful. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Could you please greet our Viewers. Hello everyone. I'm so glad to be here with my daughter Joy and to talk with you about my work. Yeah, she's very precise as you've heard. We want you to tell us about your professional life. Okay. I am a psychotherapist, which means I do counseling with people. Mm. In my career, I've worked with several different agencies. I first started with the county, which is the governmental uh, services. Then I moved to a private agency, which was called Family Service Agency, and I worked there for many years. And then I finally worked for a Kaiser Medical uh, Psychiatric Services, and that was in a hospital setting, but we call it outpatient therapy, mm -hmm. meaning that people came to me in my office for counseling. And I worked there for many years. Then when I retired, I started doing counseling in my home. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing now. I see children, men, and ladies, and counsel with them about their personal or uh, other kinds of problems. They might have problems around work, they might have problems around relationships. Um, one of my specialties is anxiety, which means people who worry too much. And I work with them in order to help them face their fears and overcome and reduce their fears. That is quite a big CV and I know we are going to learn a lot since this show is all about inspiring you, motivating you, some, sometimes you may be down and if we get such people that are professional in that real field then I know you're going to be helped. I want to ask you what inspired you to be in that particular field? Mm, good question. My mother was very depressed when my father died and she became very, very sad and even as a baby, what comforted her was holding me and talking to me. That made her feel better. So in a certain way, I was my mom's counselor from baby to child to teenager to adult. My mother always kind of looked to me for comfort and to feel better. And so it was very natural for me to go into that field. I also found that even in school, all my classmates would we'll come, come to, to me with their problems and want to talk them over and things like that. So it was absolutely natural that I would become a counselor. So I got a license as a licensed clinical social worker and a licensed marriage, family, and child counselor. So I have two licenses, which is the important thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means that I can see people on my own, not in an agency, an agency. but absolutely on my own. That some people who have fear, who have anxiety, like they are full of that. Yeah. In any field, someone may want to take up a job, but they fear they make they may make mistakes, and in that, as a result, they stop what whatever they were thinking. So, what is your advice to such people? Okay, the kind of therapy I do is cognitive behavioral therapy, mm -hmm. and what that means is what you say to yourself about what's happening is more important than what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, What message you're giving to yourself. Mm -hmm. And so if you say to yourself, 
I'm a failure, I'll never make friends, nobody likes me, things like that. That's a negative thought or a worry thought. And so what we do is replace, yeah, repeal and replace is the phrase. When you have a negative thought, you replace it with something more positive. For anxiety, I help people with relieving stress physically by doing a lot of exercise, by doing deep breathing, which helps people relax and let go of tension and stress. Exercise is the big healer though, especially if you're depressed. You don't feel like exercising. Okay. So <clears throat> what I say to people is you have to talk back to the depression. The fear part of it, talk back to that fear, talk back to that depression, because you have all the power that it takes to get you away of that situation. Basically, that was it for today. Stay tuned to the wine where we believe that if others can, you also can. First on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and you'll be blessed. Don't forget to talk back.